Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator Myths, a series where you guys ask me questions, give me challenges, or tell me myths that you guys have about the game, and I try to answer them in this video. We have a lot of good ones to go through today, so let's get it started. So last episode, we added Osana and Najimi to the game. Well, not really. It was more like a sneak peek. This time, we are going to put another rival's name in place of Osana and Najimi, and let's see if any of them pop up. If they do, that will be cool as shit. I'm going to be happy as fuck. The first name we are going to put on is Amai Oreyaka, and I got to write that down because I sure as shit know that I'm going to fuck that up. All right, I added Amai Oreyaka into the game. Hopefully when I turn around, I see her baking a cake in midair or some shit. So let's see if my theory is right. No! It's still Osana, what? Oh, that is so lame. So I took off Osana's name and then I added Omai, the baking girl, and it's still Osana. Let's see if it still says Osana. No, it says Amai Oreyaka, okay? So it is Amai's name but it still looks straight up like Osana Najimi. That's weird. So no matter what name we add, it ends up being the same girl. Let me add a new name, a completely random name, and let's see if Osana's character model will still be in there. All right, guys, I added a random name and Osana's character model is still there. So I can officially say that no matter what name you put in there, Osana's character model will pop up in the school environment. She can be a living, breathing thing inside of the school. You can kill her, you can talk to her, you can make her follow you and all that jazz. So officially, it doesn't matter what you put in the name, she will be there no matter what, as long as you put something in there. But there is one more thing that I do want to try regarding the names. I know noticed that below Osana's name or where you can put Osana's name there is another spot where it says unknown I want to see if you put somebody's name there will two Osana character models pop up we're gonna try that right now and find out once and for all all right round three I added another name to the unknown slot let's see if two characters are there yes okay we got Osana right here and we got another chick right here, and it's Ayane-chan. It's me! It's a me, Ayane, with the clouds over my boobies. That is weird. Can we talk? No, we cannot talk to this other character. That is crazy. Let me take a picture. All right, holding my cock right in the flesh. That is so awesome. Let me see if I can get a weapon and end this bitch's life. -o. All right, there's an attack option here. Let's see. Oh! All right, this bitch is dead. I can pick her up even though she is me. This is so weird. It might like mess something up in like the universe matrix or something. Let me end the day and let's see what happens. The school day has ended. While walking around the school, a teacher discovers a corpse. The teacher immediately calls the police. The police arrive at school. The police discover the corpse of... <laughs> The police discover the corpse of Holden Macaque. The police discover a screwdriver that is stained with the blood of Holden Macaque. So, if you add another name to the unknown slot inside of the JSON folder, it'll be Ayane-chan. She will start off on fire and then clouds will be all over her titties. She looks just like you. It's like looking in a mirror. So that is what happens. That's all I wanted to try. That is really cool though. It's a little strange, but it's awesome as fuck. Let me try kidnapping her, and let's see what she looks like in the basement. I honestly feel like doing this is gonna break the game or something, like tranquilizing myself. It's just gonna make the game fuck up and be like, what the hell is going on? Get in here! Oh crap. Come on! Please! Please get in here for me! Yay! For me! She did it for me! Alright, so let's close the door and trank this hoe! Oh! oh yeah! This is gonna be so legit. We got a clone of ourselves right here in our hands. Let's dump her. Let's end the day. And let's see what she looks like in the basement. Before I go down there, I want everybody to write in the comments what you think she is going to look like down there. I predict that we are going to see a girl on fire. Let's go. Nope. It is the same person. So we basically kidnapped ourselves. So I'm just going to bring the sanity all the way down. We are going to go to school. And then I'm going to give our clone the knife, and let's see what happens from there. 
<laughs> All right, here we go. We got the cloud titties again. Time to give her the... I'll give her the screwdriver. Here you go, my lady. Oh, shit! Really, nigga? I did not mean to kill you. Fuck me. Can we give the weapon? Yes, we can do it. Oh, shit. Whoa! What the fuck? What was that? Hit her! Don't air hump her. Get her ass. Do I need to give you another weapon? Okay, let me give you the box cutter. And guys, it is really choppy. Like, the game is really laggy. I think I'm breaking the game or something. But anyway, guys, I don't know what else to do with the Ayane-chan clone. The first thing we tried to do is put another rival's name in place of Osana's, but Osana's character model still pops up. You can actually put any name you want in there. Anything you want. You could probably even put two letters and someone will still pop up. And also, if you put another name directly below Osana's name, you can spawn a clone of Ayane-chan. I had a lot of fun trying this stuff out. Hopefully you guys did too. On to the next myth. J. What if you kidnap Osana Placeholder? Okay, we can try that. Excuse me, miss. Can you follow me, please? I honestly think that she is going to look the same. She's going to have the long hair, the polka dot stockings, all that jazz. Or she is going to look like that burning girl or that silver haired girl. The one that we used to see when we kidnapped the gym teacher. I think that's what Osana is going to look like. You guys tell me what you think down below. But anyway, we got the trank. We got our skank. Close the dough. Trank is fucking hot. Dump that ass. Fast forward through the day. Her hair still sticking out because it's so damn long. And let's see what happens. All right, here we are again. The door to our basement. Now the moment of truth. Can I get a drum roll, please? And it's still Osana Najimi. Whoop de freaking do. I'm gonna bring her. I'm gonna make her mind slave. I think that's a Yandere simulator tradition. When you bring somebody to your basement, you gotta torture them until they become a mind slave. And then you end it off with them killing Kakona. That's like the exclamation mark. Wait a minute. She's not a mind slave, she's still walking like this. That's weird. Usually they start off here, but she's walking. Okay, I see you big bad mind slave here. Let me give you this. And she's gonna get up and she's gonna go in the air again, just like the other chick. What the fuck? Why do they do that? I'm pretty sure she's not gonna kill her, just like the Yane-chan clone. And now it's starting to lag out again. I do not recommend doing this, by the way. I'm just doing this for, uh quote-unquote research purposes but i don't recommend changing the names in all the json files because it's gonna make your game run slower and it's gonna get a bit choppy so yeah i don't think that she's going to kill kakona she's gonna bug out just like the ayana clone so to answer your question if you kidnap the osana placeholder she will look the same in the basement you can torture her and make her a mind slave she's not really gonna do anything she's gonna glitch out she's gonna jump up and down like she's doing right now so hopefully that answers your question on to the next one myth if you have fog on, will students be able to see you killing another student through the fog? Now, I've never actually used the fog option before, so this is going to be a first time. going to pop my fog cherry. Let's do the settings. Turn on the fog. Draw distance. Uh, let's put it at about 10 meters. Let's make it really freaking foggy. Okay, there we go. So now it's spooky as shit. Let me insert some very creepy music in the background. There we go. The mood is just right. So let me get a weapon and let's see if the students notice me killing any of the other students in the fog. Because I can't see shit. Like if you look right here, well the camera can see through the fog. But if you look right here, you can't see students that are coming up because the fog is so damn thick. So maybe I can kill groups of students and the other ones won't notice. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to try it student against teacher. So Osana is going to be my victim and the teacher is going to be my guinea pig. So let me get to a point where the fog separates the teacher. So you can't see the teacher right there. Okay. So you can't see the teacher, right? Yeah. No teacher view and boom. Oh, come on. That's lame. You can't see that. Stop fuck right you. Now. No, fuck you. Oh, God, it's going to be scary when we see her through the fog. Let me see. Surprise. Oh, fog. shit. That's scary. She popped up from the other side. <laughs> fuck you. Oh, God. Kill her. Kill her, bitch ass. Come on. Come on, Ayana chan Fuck. No. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> okay. So the teacher noticed 
which obviously means the students will notice too. But you can never be too sure, so let's try it out. Okay, with this one, we'll just get this blue-haired chick. I forgot her name, but she got that pointy alfalfa-looking ass hair right there. So we're gonna get her to follow us. And we'll just put her right outside the view, okay? I can't see any students, right? Well, I can kind of see Senpai if I put the camera here, but let me go right here, and then... Huh! Did that really work? Or was I too far away? I can't even tell, because I can't see any students here, so I wouldn't be able to tell. Let me clean myself up and try it on another victim. Let's try this blonde-haired fuckboy. Go right over here. Wait, what was this? Oh, there's like an option right here. I think it's the Kakona Bento thing. Oh, crap, they saw the body. Fuck me, silly. All right, follow me. There you go. And then we'll be near the girls. Shit! Stop looking over there! Come on, it's just a dead body. Well, they can clearly see through the fog. All right, let's make this one a little bit more simple. I got Osana back there. You can't see her because the fog is so damn thick like a Brazilian ass. We also got Madori Gurino right here. So let's end this motherfucking life. Uh! There you go. Oh, she saw it and she's bald as fuck too. Okay, so to answer the question, yes. Even if you kill a student through the fog, the other students will notice you. I guess the fog doesn't make a big difference for now, but I really feel like it could be a crucial part of the gameplay because I think the fog could take the stealth factor to a whole nother level. It would make the game way more interesting in terms of sneaking and killing students and not being detected while you're doing it. So I hope the fog becomes a very important feature in the game and not just a feature to increase the frame rate or anything like that because I know that's why it's implemented. But now I'm just going off on a whole different topic. I'll save that one for another day. To answer the question again, the students see you killing other people through the fog no matter what. On to the next one. I have one. One, put Osana in the game. Two, listen to her phone call. Three, fast forward to the end of the day. Four, go on the computer. Five, can you gossip about her? Will the other students believe you? All right, that is a very good question. The key factor here is when she takes her phone call, we gotta make sure that we learn a new topic to talk about. Then we can talk shit behind our computer like an internet troll. So let's fast forward to about 7.30ish and let's listen to her phone call. All right, there we go. We learned a new topic, new info, new opinion. My thing is though, I didn't even know this thing was right here. I thought it was always on the third floor. What the fuck? They have one on the first floor? That is weird. But yeah, we learned the opinion. So let's fast forward to the end of the day and let's see if we can talk that shit. Let's see if we can talk that internet bullshit. All right, here we go, guys. Let's write, today I saw Osana Najimi in Shasuta Town and she was compensated dating her ass off. Bam. And let's post that. And nobody can tell me that I'm lying because I heard it. Wow, lame. Don't post stupid lies on the internet. Saki, stop being such a bitch. It's the truth. I heard her. She was talking on the phone next to the bathroom. If you want, I could bring you there and you can hear for your damn self. But that sucks, balls. I had a feeling that was going to happen. But maybe I can actually write the same thing about Kokona since it's the same exact phone call. And maybe they'll believe me about Kokona. Let me try that. All right, guys, we're back in the room. We reset it. Let's write that we saw Kokona this time in Shisuta Town, and she was engaging in compensated dating. Since we heard the same lines that Kokona has, but in Osana's body, maybe it'll work. So let's post that, and let's see what they say. I thought I saw her with an older man in Shisuta Town tonight, but I didn't think it was really her. I wasn't sure if I should say anything about it, but I saw her doing that last week too. Seriously, I didn't think there would be anyone like that at her school. While that's pretty gross, I expected better from Kokona. No, Kokona-chan, it's not true, is it? Yes! So there you go. If you listen to Osana's lines, even if you're not actually there listening to Kokona say it, you can still talk that shit about Kokona and everybody is going to believe you. So nobody's going to believe the Osana one, but everybody's going to believe the Kokona one. Hopefully that answers your question. That was a cool one to do. On to the last myth of today's episode. Okay, so for the last myth of today's episode, a lot of people, and I mean a shit fuck ton of people, have been asking me if I can find fun girl around the school when I have fog activated with the draw distance at about 10 to 50 meters. So this is what it looks like at 10, 20, 30, 
40, 50. Basically, it just keeps going away. Kind of like when you finally tell your crush you like her. It just keeps going further and further away. But anyway, back to the point. A lot of people seem to think that with the fog activated and me running around the school, I'm just automatically going to bump into Fun Girl because it was in Yandere Dev's video. But I'm pretty sure that he just added that for dramatic effect. There is no fun girl in the school. And a lot of people are telling me, why don't you go into the file like you did when you put Osana in the game and change it to fun girl? Maybe fun girl and her creepy ass will appear in the game. No, fun girl is not going to appear in the game. That is just an Easter egg. Maybe she'll appear in the game in the future. But as for now, Yandere Dev just added that in his video for dramatic effect. I will even put the draw distance at 10 to make it even more creepier, even thicker than a fat old ass. And still, no fun girl is going to pop up and watch fun girl pop up and scare the shit out of me. But yeah, I'm running around the track, running around the tree. Nothing is popping up, even though it does look creepy as shit. I just wanted to answer this because a lot of people have been asking me that. It's a very popular question at the moment. And I know a lot of other people are going to be like, Man, Jay, that is so obvious. You didn't even have to answer that. Well, you know, a lot of people don't know that. And if I don't answer it right now, then a lot of people are still going to be curious and wonder if Fun Girl is actually in the game. But I'm going to give it the official debunked. Fun Girl is not in the game, even if you have fog activated and the draw distance between 10 meters and 50 meters. But that's going to do it for this episode of Yandere Simulator Myths. I know that there weren't that many myths and questions and challenges in today's episode, but the next build is going to have a lot of content, so hopefully you guys are excited for that. If you are ready for this game to be updated and new features to come out, make sure you give this video one big fat like, and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead, dude! <laughs>